Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about Revised Periodic Law. This will be the second quarter topic, week 5 and day 4. And this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the periodic trends in properties such as melting point First, ionization energy and electronegativity as elements are arranged by atomic number The second one is to arrange a set of elements in order of increasing atomic number and identify the trend in a given property and the third one is to appreciate the significance of the revised periodic law in organizing and predicting the behavior of elements by answering the activity number four. As more elements were found, scientists realized atomic mass was not the perfect way to order them. It turns out the number of protons in an element called its atomic number is the key. The modern periodic table organizes elements based on their atomic number, putting elements with similar properties in columns and showing repeating trends across the rows. Dimitri Mendeleev placed certain elements into groups that expressed similar chemical behavior even though they were not in order of increasing atomic mass. In 1913, Henry mostly performed experiments that lead to the discovery of the atomic number. With Mosley's contribution, the revised periodic law can be stated as similar properties recur periodically when elements are arranged according to increasing atomic number. Atomic numbers, not weights, determine the factors of chemical properties. The periodic law is found to help determine many patterns of many different properties of elements, such as melting and boiling points, densities, electrical conductivity, reactivity, acidic, basic, valence, polarity, and solubility. For group number one, the alkali metals, these are the melting points. When it comes to the atomic number, lithium has 3, sodium has 11, potassium has 19, rubinium has 37, cesium has 55, and francium has 87. When it comes to the melting point, lithium has 174 degrees Celsius, sodium 97.8 degrees Celsius, potassium 63.7 degrees Celsius, rubinium 38.9 degrees Celsius, cesium 28.5 degrees Celsius, and francium 26.85 degrees Celsius. If this is a range based on the increasing atomic number, it would be francium, which is the highest, followed by the cesium, rubinium, potassium, sodium, and lastly the lithium. When it comes to the melting points, the highest one is the lithium followed by the sodium, potassium, rubinium, cesium, and the last one is the francium. Therefore, there is a trend existing between elements in a period. In this example, it can be said that the melting point generally increases as the atomic number increases within a period from left to right. For the lesson activity, the students will accomplish activity number four. For the direction, ask the students to arrange the following sets of elements based on their atomic number, then create a statement explaining the trend observed.
in making of generalization for the learner's takeaways, the students will accomplish the activity called periodic timeline. Using the arrow chart below, fill in the same name of the scientist, the law that they develop, and the statement of the law. And for the reflection on learning, in their notebook, the students will write a journal entry consisting of three to four sentences answering any of the following questions. For the first question, what did I learn about this lesson that I did not know before? For the second question, which topic was easy for me? And for the third question, which topic was challenging to learn? And for the last question, do I understand it now? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.